So if you're curious what it looks like to stay in a parking lot in Chicago, uh, this is it. You don't get a lot of privacy, necessarily. <laughs> you see tons of Prevo buses. So you got this far back lot that uh, some people have taken some tree spots that are pretty nice. You've got this middle lot that we're in where really semis and buses are not supposed to be in this middle lot. And then I'm going to be riding my bus through the first lot, which is where you also check in and where most of the semi truck trailers are, which is where we were originally, but we moved out here for a little bit more privacy. Um, privacy. <laughs> uh, we're going to pay for more nights here in Chicago, and I'll also show you what that first lot looks like. But it's still worth it because downtown is right there. Museums, aquarium, the waterfront is all right over there. We can get to almost anything and everything we want to get to here in Chicago, which is pretty awesome. I do highly recommend bikes. These things have been incredible to have uh, for us to get around. Still waking up, baby. <laughs> so solar's still doing good. We're getting 17 amps in. It's like 8.30 a.m. Today is supposed to be sunnier than yesterday. But we did pretty well yesterday. Even on a partly cloudy day, we came at the end of the day, uh, the batteries were pretty much charged up. One problem we've had, though, is water. We've had this airstream a while, and we've kind of figured out how much water it can and can't use and all that, but we... We just goofed. The first couple of days we used too much water. Either we've used too much water or the panel I thought I calibrated is not calibrated because this is flashing red, which means, hey, I'm pretty much on the verge of empty here. <laughs> so it's pretty funny that uh, we don't have water. I don't know where to get water here, but yet it's within 20 minutes of here. There are hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of people who have easy access to water and we don't. Uh, some stuff we use in the past, you know, you could use a spigot at a gas station. You could even go to a campground and maybe pay a small fee and use their water dump station, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's just, there's no campgrounds here. There's no truck stops here that are anywhere near where we're at in Chicago either. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to see how far we can go in the water and then we may have to figure out a water solution or just squeeze by. We've got at least a couple more days here. You ready to ride a boat? Yeah. Yes. Kind of like being on the interstate. <laughs> <laughs> To get on that back truck, you need to be ready to go. It's close. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Look yeah, at that. This is awesome. Is this like the most fit city in the country or something? I've never seen so many people. They're everywhere. We made it, Hensley. We made it. Hey, that was way more beautiful than a car. Oh, uh, in a car, yeah. So we're at Shoreline Sightseeing. Um, one of the top things to do in Chicago is to take a riverboat tour. I read that people really love the architecture what, tour. What? And Hensley loves buildings. Going right there to see that. So Shoreline Sightseeing offers a couple different tours. They have the architecture tour. They have nighttime tours, and on Wednesdays and Saturdays, they shoot off fireworks in the summer. And then they have a classic uh, river tour as well. So lots of great options. I'm so excited about this. Hensley, you love boats, don't you? Yes. <laughs> so do I. Here we go, Daddy. Here we go. Kayaks over here next time. It's done a great job preserving history and then 
tying it in with modern and minimal. And That's what's cool about the tour is they give you the history of the city and the buildings and that makes it really fun when you can see the beauty and understand um, the history behind it. You gonna film daddy? Go. Well, they ain't had a great fire bottle of gun rub it, you know. Well, they ain't got that with every mother of rivers, you're up in these other hills. You lost your hand again. <laughs> oh. Daddy! But that was absolutely incredible. You will not get a view of the city any better than being in the water and it being all around you so we had a really good time and just gave us a different perspective of the city it is bubbles that's what is crazy it? what is it what is do you want to go see can you make a beer We're at Navy Pier. This is definitely something you want to check out when you're in Chicago. You get some awesome views. A Ferris wheel, which Hensley's pretty excited about. And we were trying to get some Chicago pizza, but it is crazy packed today. So that did not happen, but maybe before we leave, right? We thought it was crowded earlier. Now it's really getting crowded. <laughs> on TV and things like that before. I think it's very symbolic of Chicago. It used to be the fountain at the beginning of Married with Children, but my parents wouldn't let me my watch parents it. wouldn't let oh, me watch yeah, it either. <laughs> so don't ask how I know that. This fountain was dedicated in 1927 and is one of the largest fountains in the world. Pretty awesome. We rode our bikes down to Millennium Park. <laughs> We're going to check out Cloud Gate which is known as the bean. I'm sure you've seen this iconic bean before. Are you excited about the bean? Yeah. The bean. Here, Here she is. is. You just seen her face. Yeah. I'm trying to find myself on there. Why is this so cool? You can go in the middle of it too. Really? Uh -huh. It's just so random. It's like, hey, let's put a giant metal bean in the middle of the city. <laughs> Where are we at on that thing? There we are. Right. Right back there.
Yeah, what are we gonna see? Planets and stars. Yeah, we are. It's a big telescope. Yeah, this is people traveling every day ten months around the world to catch all the oh, eclipses. This is extraordinary. It's cool. Isn't it? Yay Earth! Yay Earth! Are you gonna get to see an eclipse this year? That's been the one this year. It's on the smartphone right there, so? August twenty-first. The so next will be twenty twenty-four. I think the next one in the U.S. is twenty twenty-four. There's the path, man. Twenty seventeen path going to the U.S. So we're probably gonna be what, around here somewhere. I guess. Wyoming, right? Is that the plan? We're actually thinking about maybe being around Grand Teton area. This is where yep. it's going through our hometown. Our hometown is right here. So that's pretty cool too. The Chicago is five hours from the closest spot. Here's the 2024 Good, one coming down. So right there is the only place it crosses in the U.S. They get to see both. Oh, cool. Yeah. See a piece of the moon? Wow, look at that piece of the moon that rocks from the moon. I think what stands out to me is just seeing Hensley um, and just the way she's grown. And sometimes we'll see her do things and interact with things in ways that we're like, man, just watching her face and wonder I guess like when she sees things with the boat and the city and the buildings and you know when we're in the planetarium is that what's called planetarium 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 we're in the planetarium <laughs> you know seeing her face of what goes on in there and the crazy amount of responsibility having a kid like that <laughs> I hope that these things we're doing are having an impact on her and even though she may not remember specifically what we're doing that she'll still be growing from those things and have her mind stimulated from those things. She teaches me things. Today we were driving past a construction site and she said there's a skid steer. I'm like what's a skid steer? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Very or, critical knowledge. She so. is but and she knows the difference between like stingray and manta ray and I'm like I feel like I'm the one that needs to be teaching her, but I feel like she's teaching me. She says, I totally believe if you can, if you got kids, grandkids, whatever, I mean, they, when they're younger, I mean, it, it's harder to move around with them and do <laughs> things, but the amount, they're just soaking things up so fast at that age that I just, it's its great to see what's, what's going on with her. And just the views around the city and the water. It's just, it is absolutely stunning. It really is. We are also going to have a bonus video of more things we're going to do in Chicago that I'm going to share with our patrons, um, having to do with Hensley soaking things up and us doing things as a family. So if you want to... <laughs> there is so much to do in so Chicago. There is so yes. much. And we've done tons of museums and lots of cool stuff to do here. I'll have a link to that in the description. There's also a link to Patreon at the end of the video. And, and we'll be sharing that on uh, Patreon. But we're going to call a night, get some rest. Catch you guys later. I drive down the trail. Aww, did you have a good bat? What's that? A train. It has a bell. It does. It lets people know it's coming. Can you fit with all your animals? <laughs> Not, sweetie.